please tell me to take Miguel back when I'm the one who's pregnant with his baby. Are you still stewing over that? Yes. And I will continue to stew over it before I get to Miguel. Are you sure you don't have anything that'll help me do that? I told you, dear, if you want to rip the young lovers asunder, you're going to have to do it yourself. Songs help from the dark side. If I had my full powers, I would be happy to help you, but... I know, I know. You're, you're limited to butterflies coming out of your nose. Out of my ears and my mouth, if you don't mind. Whatever. Look, Tabitha, I need help. And I need it now, before Miguel and Charity can get any closer than they already are. Okay, you're letting your fears overwhelm what little common sense you were born with. Charity and Miguel are still young and gullible. Just because they've survived all the obstacles strewn in their path thus far, it doesn't mean they've got what it takes to make it last. Oh, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if they hadn't broken up already. Do you really think so? Did Charity and Miguel could be broken up already? All I know is those two have had their fair share of trouble trying to keep that relationship going. Yeah, I know, but they always seem to come out on top together, and that's what makes me so sick about them. Yeah, I've lost a few nights of sleep over those two myself. But just because their love has survived this far doesn't mean it's always going to. New and bigger problems could do them in. Like what? I don't know. Okay, stop pestering me with all your questions. Gosh, you don't have to bite my head off. Now I'm gonna go to my parents. What? Well, supposing you run into your mother. You don't even eat any of those care packages she sends over every day. Because I'm over her lame attempts at trying to make it up to me. All I want is for her to start treating me like I'm her daughter. Anyway, I need to go. I need another pair of pants. Oh, yes, I know. You just want to see what Charity and Miguel do. to. So what if I do? Come if you want. Be another pair of eyes. Please, Tabitha. I need all the help I can get. All right. But you've got to promise me you won't get your knickers in a twist if everything isn't exactly the way you expect it to be. You know, you really don't have to worry about Kay. Because Sam and I will be there to help her out when the baby comes. I know my mom will help, too. Yeah. Well, and our first priority, of course, is the baby. But we want to make sure that you stay in school. Okay? you got to get a good job. Because I'm sure when you two get married, you're going to have other children that you have to look after, too. <laughs> How dare she stand there and help them plan for their future? <laughs> well, it looks like everything is back on track. At least for you two, anyway. You know, maybe you two are proof that love can overcome even what seems to be insurmountable problems. We have a lot to be thankful for. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Mother. Well, I don't know how to reach her. It seems like every time I see her, I just make things worse. It's not your fault, Mrs. Bennett. And if anyone's to blame, it's me. No, no, Miguel, you and Charity are doing the right thing. And, and Tabitha, I'm so grateful to you. I mean, with you taking her in, at least she's nearby instead of someplace far away. Oh, it's the least I can do after all the kindness you've shown me over the years. But don't let Kay upset you. Girls her age, especially in her delicate condition, are prone to fits of emotion. She'll come to her senses eventually. Yeah, I hope so. I'll go and check up on her. Damn her. Dare she love Charity more than she loved me. Well, I don't blame you in the least. What can I do to help? Help me find a way to destroy her? Who, Charity? No. 
and my mother. Just upset, dear. You don't mean that. Yes, I do. More than I've ever meant anything in my entire life. I want to hurt my mother the way she's hurt me, Tabitha. I want to destroy her life forever. 